This is a video about my step index uh, system. As you can see, um, here are the various pieces. Over here I have a stepper motor. Um, I've put some tape on here so that you can see it turn um, as the shaft turns. And I've also, I have here a, a temperature sensor. Uh, right now it's just hanging here, but I'll be epoxying that to the side of the motor with some thermal epoxy later. Uh, the wires from the stepper motor come around here to a, a connector back here. Um, that connector uh, will make it easy to, uh, to be able to disconnect the stepper from the mechanics, mechanical part of it. And the remaining pieces here will be placed in a project box. Um, this is the processor underneath here that you can kind of barely see under there is the Arduino. Um, and this is a shield on top of it uh, that has these keys as well as a um, uh, 16 by 2 display. Um, this uh, processor then talks to this stepper controller board. Um, uh, this generates the pulses needed to move the motor and then all of this is powered by a 12 volt power supply here um, that goes to both the stepper motor uh, board and the, um, um, the the display unit and processor. Now if I uh, if I, turn, if I turn it on, okay, that thunk means that the stepper motor is now locked in position. In fact, that's one of the reasons a stepper is great for this um, um, this application is because it's it generates full power just holding that shaft in place, and that's one of the things that I need, as well as its ability to very precisely step um, the position of that shaft. So when the program comes up, um, you can see we've got some keys here. Uh, the keys here are reset, which just starts it over. In fact, I'll, I'll do that. I'll hit reset, and you'll see that it says step index 2.0. That's the name of the program and the version number. And it comes up into, in, your, in um, the ability to select a mode. The keys here are the select key, left and right keys, up and down keys and reset. You just saw reset work. If we step through the select um, key, that selects that uh, um, function. Um, if we hit it again, it goes back to the mode. And if I press the up and down keys, it'll cycle through the various modes. So there's the step mode, the temp mode, the angle mode, and the run mode. And then if we go back, we go back to the step mode. Um, the simplest mode probably is the temperature mode. It simply uh, tells us what the two temperatures are of, the, um, uh, of those sensors. Um, one's a little warmer than the other right now, uh, mainly because I, I had my hands on the motor um, just to um, uh, move it around a little earlier. But um, um, the main mode here um, that I've uh, programmed this thing for is the step mode, and if we select that, that allows us to enter in the number of divisions, that is, the number of uh, times that we're going to divide this circle up uh, for making gear teeth or, uh, you know, multi-sided uh, pieces. So, for instance, if we just go up here to, um, uh, let's say, six divisions. Um, if we say six divisions, now the right and left key will move the stepper. So if I hit to the right key, that moves it to the right. If I hit it again, it goes again. If I hit it again, it goes down again. And again. And then one more time will take us back to the same position. So, uh, and if I hit it left, it'll go back having a little trouble with the keyboard debounce here. And if I um, hit it again, it'll go back and, and so on. So in this way, I can divide that circle up into an arbitrary number of, um, of steps. And, um, uh, um, and be able to precisely position that shaft um, at, any, at any given uh, position um, in increments. Also, it will work in an angle mode where I can specify the number of degrees. Um, right now, I have it programmed just to go five degrees at a time. It makes it allow me to set it faster. Um, and now I can move it clockwise or counterclockwise 
if I hit this button here, it'll move backwards 45. Um, if I hit it again this way, it moves, uh, rotates uh, clockwise, and the same if I hit that again. You'll notice there's a little character there that shows whether it's moving uh, counterclockwise or, or clockwise. Um, that's a custom character for this, as well as the degrees Fahrenheit character. Um, so basically, that's how this works. Um, um, this, again, this will allow me to position that shaft precisely, and then that's going to turn um, um, a bigger device over here that will allow me to cut gear. So I enter in 22 divisions, and I can cut 22 teeth on a gear, and this will position it precisely for me. So that's the application. Um, thanks for watching.